old and old and old the tech you care about. What's up guys, it's Brees McConnell with Tech on News and today we're going to be downgrading iTunes. Okay, there's many uses for downgrading iTunes, one being downgrading the iPod because the new 9.0 update does not allow you to do that. Another being the fact that iTunes 9 doesn't look anywhere as cool as iTunes 8. And you just, you might have any, any, any number of reasons for downgrading. So today we're going to go over exactly how to do that and um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, what you're going to want to do first off is pull up your internet browser of choice and go to oldapps.com. I'm going to have these links in the sidebar so you don't really have to type this in. But Right, now we're going to want to scroll down a little bit to Music Utilities section on the home page and click on iTunes. Alright, then we're going to scroll down and click iTunes 8.2 because that's the um, version that allows you to downgrade your iPod. Alright, now we're going to click on the download link and click right there. So now you can just save the file and wait for it to download. Okay, now that the download is finished, um, just go ahead and close out of this, close out of your internet, and you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna go down, click start, and control panel. Depending on what operating system you're running, it's gonna be really similar. So just get your control panel, however you know how, and then navigate navigate to add or remove programs. Wait for it to populate the list of your installed applications. And scroll down until you see iTunes. It's going to have iTunes coming out of a little box. That is iTunes. It's not like just the installation of it. It's the entire iTunes. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click remove. But before you do this, if you're going to want to upgrade back to your version you have now, you probably want to back up your library file unless you don't really care about going and re-adding your music to your library. It's not going to delete your music. It's not going to make it to where you can't ever use it again. It's not going to delete your DRM. All you have to do is go to My Music, iTunes, and back up this iTunes library.itl file. So you can just go ahead and copy that to your desktop if you really want to save it. So, alright, now go back to this and just go ahead and click remove and yes on iTunes and it will prepare to uninstall iTunes. Okay, um, now that iTunes is finished uninstalling, you can just exit out of outer remove programs and exit out of the control panel. And go to your My Documents folder your my music folder your itunes folder and go ahead and delete the library.itl folder or file that i told you to back up earlier because it will not let you reinstall itunes if you still have that because it'll, it'll think that you st you have a greater version of itunes already installed on your computer which you obviously do not n anymore since we just deleted it so now navigate to your downloads folder wherever you have your browser set to download to um, and locate the iTunes setup file that you just downloaded from oldapps.com. So go ahead and double click on that and wait for the installer to load up. Okay, just go ahead and install iTunes like you would normally. Accept all the terms, install, everything installs the exact same, and check the options you want, whatever. And go ahead and click install. Okay. Okay. Now that iTunes is finished installing, um, you may or may not want to open iTunes after the installer exits. I'm just going to go ahead and click no. So now you click finish, and you're done installing iTunes, the new version. So you can go ahead and pull up iTunes. All right. Now it's going to load up, and you're going to see that there's no music in your library. But in order to get your music back, you just close out of iTunes grab that iTunes library.itl file that you had backed up go to your my music folder iTunes and overwrite the one that it just added so click yes okay now you have that there pull up iTunes and your music should be there now 
unless you were already on iTunes 9 and you downgraded. If you downgraded, your music won't be there. You'll just have to manually put it back in. But if you down if you downgraded and then you want to upgrade again and you have no music because you reinstalled, that's what you do to restore your music after you upgrade again. Because some people just want to downgrade downgrade their iPod and then upgrade back to the latest version for all the new features. So that is how you downgrade your iTunes for use of downgrading your iPod or whatever you use you may have. Maybe you accidentally updated and you don't like the new update, so that's how you do it. As you can see, we can go to Help About iTunes, and it says this is iTunes 8.2.0.23. So this is definitely not iTunes 9 anymore, and yep, now you have iTunes 8. Good luck, guys.